Young Award winner brought up Friday to replace 11 game winner John Smiley, who's on the 15 day DL. Reggie Sanders will have a candy bar named after him if he keeps hitting like he is. His third home run in two nights, Reds up 4 0. Viola couldn't hold the 5 0 lead, though, giving up his second home run of the night. Jeff King saying thank you on that one. To the seventh inning, we will go. Reds up 7 6 in Midry Cummings. The single to right field. Jeff King, a really bad decision as he is meet in the worst way. And that would have been the tying run right there. Cincinnati getting it done despite stranding 14 runners. Viola lasted just four and two thirds in his first start since May of last year. The Reds, meanwhile, uh, just four and eight in road games this month. The Astros trying to stop their free fall there in Florida. Former Marlin Dave Magadan. He knows the right field stands real well. The solo shot Astros leading one nothing in the sixth inning. Chuck Carr coming back, not known for his power but gets one up and high off Greg Swindell, and that's his first one of the year. Eighth inning, it's Jesus Tavares. Jesus Marumba, the two-run homer. The Marlins have won 12 in a row, while the Strolls must feel like a skydiver whose ripcord won't release. Nine losses and counting, just what the doc prescribed for Willie Banks. He went seven innings to earn his first victory in Angels here, Rafael Palmero thinking about gaps. Jim Edmonds comes on in. He's made some great plays all year. Another one there. Orioles play long ball, though. Chris Hoyles, who's been just ripping them lately. Home run after home run has another one. His game is tied at one. Top of the ninth, Bobby Bonilla goes to left. That's not coming back. His fifth as an Oriole. That was the seventh inning, by the way. Three to one, Baltimore. More defense. Baltimore left field, Mark Smith. Just called up recently. Rob's a fan. Good grab there. Top of the ninth, Palmero takes one to center. Jim Edmonds trying to get up there. A good effort. Oh, he climbs the wall. Cannot get it. Number 30 for Rappi on the season. The Orioles continue to hurt the Angels. And they are, California now indeed is struggling. Their lead over second place Texas slips to seven and a half. The bottom's falling out on the Yankees, but the M's are in the thick of the sauce. Fourth inning. Scoreless game. Jay Buhner sends this one deep off the homer pole. Let's see what happens. Yeah, hit the homer pole. Mike Blowers adds one right after that. The Mariners are in charge. Meantime, Luis Soho swinging the lumber, drives it up the middle. Edgar Martinez and Dan Wilson are both in 5 nothing M's. Randy Johnson on the hill. Case closed. Ruben Sierra, get out. His seventh strikeout. Johnson now 13-2 and on the season. And get this, the M's are 21-3 and when he pitches this year. He ties the Deonomo with three shutouts. That's the most in the bigs. The Yankees have lost all three of the three games so far. They'll go to try to avoid the sweep tomorrow. Early on against El Cid, and he likes the Uncle Charlie. The bloated curveball is turned around in a hurry. Dodgers up 1-0, number 23 for Piazza. Bottom of the fourth, the wheels come off for Ishmael Valdez. Everyone's ripping it. Eisenreich, Witten, Charlie Hayes, Lenny Webster, and then Sid Fernandez himself beats it into the ground, and the play at the plate looks like Piazza has the ball. But Webster kicks the ball free. He's safe. Eight to one. Phillies after four. Piazza again in the sixth inning. Rips Sid Fernandez for another home run. His 24th, making his dad very happy, very proud. Meantime, flip side, Raul Mondesi struck out four times. Toby Borland getting him that time. The Phillies are on fire again. An up and down season. El Cid certainly likes an eight-run fifth. It's his fifth straight win. Phillies' eighth win in nine games has them in charge of the wild card race by a half game. Lenny Webster, Dalton's replacement, three hits, two RBI in this one. The Cardinals in a scoreless duel with the Rocks in Coors Field. Eighth inning, bases loaded, two outs when pinch hitting Ellis Book Burks rips it up the middle. It was scoreless into the eighth, that is. Now the Rockies take a 3-0 lead, but the top of the ninth, Cardinals down 3-1. Bases loaded, Danny Schaefer, Bruce Ruffin, Hangs a curveball and Schaefer gives it a ride. A grand slam. Cardinals up five to three. Bottom of the ninth, five four. Rockies trying to get back in it. Tom Hankey induces the grounder. Great play by first baseman John Mabry. Ta tag you very much. Indeed, he manages to come down and make the tag. That's Schaefer's first career granny. Not only did the Rocks blow another chance to jump ahead of the Dodgers and to first atop the West. They now trail Philly by a half game in the wild card chase. The Cubs very much in this wild thing. Turk Wendell, fifth inning. Cubs already down 5 0. Chipper Jones going the other way. His 18th home run. Atlanta's up 7 0. Way too many runs for Greg Maddox. Get out, Sammy Sosa. 
He retired 19 out of 20 Cubs at one point. Sosa again, I said, get out. Great pitch. Great pitch indeed. Great pitch. Maddox said after he didn't even know about this record. What record? It's his 16th straight road win, and that is a new National League record and ties Maddox with Denny McLean, Cal McClish, and Richard Dotson for the two A's who failed to get an RBI today off Zane Smith as Smitty rocked early and often. He was gone after two innings with pitches like this one. Stan Javier bringing home two as the A's go up 3 nothing in the second. They would get six more in the third. In support of Todd Stottlemyre, the right-hander looking good for Oakland. Jose Canseco, can you see your way clear to the bench? Every Oakland starter chipped in with at least one hit as Boston suffers back-to-back -back losses for the first time in more than a month. As for Stottlemyre, he K'd nine, including Jose Canseco twice as Canseco goes 0 for 3 to end his hit streak at 16. Cleveland got a nice effort from Charles Nagy Saturday afternoon. He struggled the last three times out, but here getting Cecil Fielder to go down, Chris Gomez, Gomez that is, you're gone too, and Chad Curtis. Just feeling the breeze. Tell it walking. 12 strikeouts in all for Nagy. The Tribe finding new ways to score, too. Look at this. Stealing home. That is none other than Eddie Murray on the double steal. 6-2 Tribe. That's the score in the top of the ninth. Runners on second and third. And Jose Mesa getting Cecil Fielder to pop out to right. And just like that, the, the Indians win again. That's the high puff play, isn't it? The total of 14 strikeouts were the most for Cleveland all season as the Indians lowered their magic number to 16.